say is the this is the one hundred and uh, one hundred and four. Session of the Executive Council meetings of our state. And I again use this opportunity to thank every one of you for um, all the achievements that we recorded working together in very trying times in the life of our state. Um, today, on a sad note, I'll begin with that. Not sad as in death, but because one of our prominent members uh, will be leaving council today. And as you know, by the traditions of our government, where we encourage and support and honor one another in the service of our people, um, I asked him to attend this ESCO that for now will be the last ESCO it will be part of in the remainder of our government. Ladies and gentlemen, our hardworking, amiable, ever smiling Attorney General, uh, the Honorable Kamal Swada Wudu, who has been Attorney General since my first tenure and worked with us during the trying periods of the recession and the election and managing to stabilize and bring about development in the very difficult circumstances we found ourselves the first time ever that our state is functioning in opposition a number of people take what is happening for granted they don't know the, the, the strains on us and how we are managing in a very vicious uh, political climate to keep this state managing the way we have done. So I value very much all your sacrifices and contributions. And knowing the type of government that we run, where people are in these positions not for themselves. We are not doing this for ourselves. Working day and night for the people, for the state. Um, that's what you are all doing, and that's what uh, Kamal Soda will do, Esquire, did for over five years, almost six years. Is as of now, the longest serving Attorney General of Bayelsa State. And uh, I know the quality of advice because an attorney general is the governor's first legal advisor before anything else, before he becomes a defender of the rights of the state, a defender of the rights of the people of the state, a defender of the government of the state. But first of all, it must be in our system also someone that a governor can count on in terms of sound legal advice. And I implore you all once again to appreciate the sacrifices and services by giving him a round of applause. Um, in our government, more people have stayed than those who go out. There are not many people who keep an attorney general for five years, almost six years. There are not many governments that keep cabinet members for four years, five years, and counting. Um, we believe in stability. And that's why we have created stable institutions. In spite of the attack, the onslaught, and in spite of the political culture, that we manage. Um, our Attorney General and I um, spoke. I requested him to continue over almost uh, over a year. 
So still continue. And uh, wanted to be free, wanted to attend to his own private legal matters, haven't put in over five years to prepare for the next phase of his professional career and advancement. And I believe that um, this position has also given him a lot of um, exposure. And as he moves on, he will continue to have our support and encouragement and our prayers. And he will still, at least in a part-time capacity, he will still be supporting and be part of the things that we do um, as a consultant and in very many other forms. So today, uh, I will take some remarks, few remarks from his colleagues, all of you who have worked with him as colleagues, maybe like two, three people will speak, and then um, our outgoing Attorney General will respond. But before he does that, let me also formally use this opportunity to announce what is already out there, because there can be no vacuum. That office is so critical to the stability of a state um, that yesterday, I think early this morning or so, I directed the announcements to be made, announcing a replacement, even pending this valedictory uh, proceedings. And so our new Attorney General, who will be taking over fully, I think, from today or tomorrow, is A.S. Ato Esquire. He's been our special prosecutor all these years. And I've been sending all the bad guys away from Bayelsa and keeping them somewhere in Okaka. And for some, even further than Okaka. Now, as Attorney General, is going to do more of that. It's a very strong warning to all those who want to um, carry out criminal activities in our state. And from now till the end of this administration, they are going to see more impetus in the fight against crime and criminality. There will be a stepped up emphasis on the protection of rights of our state, either at the hands of political criminals and terrorists who take the rights of our state and the rights of our people for granted. And NATO is going to ensure that it will start from where Commander Soda will do has left. Now, before I call on contributions, I want to thank Wudu for the emphasis in the last uh, part of his tenure on protection of the environment, the environmental rights of our people. We are going to launch a big environmental campaign, and I have told him of the role that I would like him to play in that uh, scenario. I'd like to also thank him for working with his colleagues. As a matter of fact, for getting me to approve that we institute the action at the Supreme Court. Other states only came to join what we did. And he coordinated that effort very well. We are waiting to receive the billions of dollars. And I've asked him that he will still be part of those transactions as a consultant. On this note, I would like three commissioners who will speak. Um, the chief of staff, who uh, is our senior in the body of uh, attorneys general, um, he will also 
make brief remarks, and the deputy governor will make a, a brief remark. Uh, because I know that uh, Wudu has always run into him for approvals. Knowing that I will slash things down and so on, he will say, I, I'll go to the deputy governor. Can I go to the deputy governor? Okay, I will take to the deputy governor. He won't even ask for me. He will say, okay, I will go to the deputy governor. And I know he's not alone in that regard. Well, that is the balance in the government. He's also a master of cutting down. So, gentlemen, thank you very much. So, three quick responses. Um, who will go first? I'm Chairman of Council. I have known uh, Wudu when he was a present lawyer and uh, Chairman of NBA in the Goa branch. While I was head of department humanities in the College of Arts and Science, they used to come and uh, motivate the law students there uh, and other things before we eventually met in ESCO. I find him a uh, very heartwarming, cool-headed gentleman, and I've always prayed for him. And from the day I met him, I used to call him the senior advocate of Nigeria. And it's a prayer I will continue to pray until he achieves that feat in these states. Uh, recently, Mr. Um, Wudu and I were at the National Assembly on two occasions to represent the state government, to present our positions, uh, the government position on the petroleum industry bill, talking about especially the environmental degradation and uh, oil exploration and despoilation of our environment, and especially the gas flaring, which has impacted on our people negatively. And both of us went there. The first day in the House of Reps, he made a representation. The second day, when we were in the House of Senate, he couldn't come early, so I made the representation. So we worked together uh, like that. I find him uh, someone who is unruffled and indifferent in his approach to things, resilient, with a sustained capacity for academic and uh, uh, lit uh, academic exercise and litigation. Even though I'm not a lawyer, I followed him. Even when I saw the write up which he wrote when we were working together, I found it very, very rewarding. And so we are going to greatly miss him in ESCO. But we thank God that, like the governor has remarked, he's going further um, to achieve more laurels to represent our seats and make us very proud. Thank you and God bless you. Your Excellency and Chairman in Council, my colleagues, <coughs> I personally met uh, Barrister Wodu when I was Secretary of the Primary Education Board. He was a legal advisor at that time. And the little I know, like my colleague said, even though I'm not a lawyer, I know that he's a very hardworking person. And he's somebody who does things without regards to cutting corners. That is, he makes sure what is supposed to be done is always done at the right time. And even as our chairman of ESCO, he had made sure we are represented very well on different occasions. And to the best of my knowledge, even if he lives here by God's grace, I know he will continue to do well. All I can wish him for now is good luck in whatever thing he's going to do even after now. And God willing, we are waiting for another senior advocate of Nigeria. Thank you so much. Thank you. Chairman in Council, other members of the ESCO. What can I say about this man? I've known this man for almost 25 years. He has been a good big brother to me. Apart from that, he has always been very soft-spoken, but his points are always cut across anywhere he goes. He has always represented us in a way that I find it very dignifying when he expresses himself. I've been with him in the courts, I've seen him perform in the courts, 
he was always very soft-spoken but very adamant anytime he expresses himself in court. He is a man of intelligence, a man who knows his law, his quotes, a researcher. He researches very well and he will put in 100% the work he needs to put in when the work is in front of him. It's someone that we can, as commissioners, we can always go to easily and pay special attention. And even when we are not able to put our points across, he's able to define things for us proper. He has been exemplary in his work and exceptional at the same time. Barrister Wodu, wish you all the successes and more in life. May God keep you, bless you, and enhance you on all sides. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. You represent the female lawyers. Yes, I think the most senior lawyer here as well. <laughs> um, I, 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 Chairman, Council, I, I've had the pleasure of knowing Wodu only for a few years, probably 20% of the time that my colleague beside me has known him. But in that short period of time, because of my of the way we work together, both if I remember on the the joint venture for the uh, for us trying to purchase the oil block with Petro Bay and, uh, and various other issues in terms of investment, as I said, he's a true detailed person, as one would expect from a lawyer, soft-spoken well-spoken, articulate, as one would expect from a good lawyer. And, but more than that, to me, he's a gentleman. And in Bielsa, I search hard for a wonderful gentleman, and this is one here in front of me. So, Wudu, I'm glad to have met you. I'm sure we're going to get to know each other a lot better over the years going forward. And uh, best of luck in the future. Bye-bye. Thank you. Uh, one of uh, our campaigns to Pretoro. I saw him and somebody uh, told me that he was Barrister Wodu. And before then, I've heard about his sagacity in his profession and that he's among the best in the state. So when I saw him, I tried to look at his fame and his physique and I tried to marry the two together. And I appreciated the fact that is not in the height also. When we found ourselves in ESCO, uh, eventually became a chairman, and uh, beyond that, he is my neighbor. And uh, every morning, my family wakes up and see him, the ambience, the smiles, the homeliness we saw in him encouraged us. And we eventually became friends beyond ESCO. Uh, I learned a lot from him, uh, especially in the area of uh, um, being patient and homely, even at the heat of every stress. Sometimes when legal issues come to the ministry and approach him, he will just give the advice from A to Z that will bring about solution to it without even stressing himself. And uh, that I saw in him is rare. And so uh, seeing him leaving us is a very big burden. But just like Your Excellency has said, he is going to still be with us, serve the state in the new capacity of being a consultant, uh, the little I know about consultancy is that the person is actually superior in terms of knowledge and uh, experience. So that is the good side. And uh, I wish to express uh, that Wodu has been a model and a, a somebody I am proud of to see as an German. I wish that he flourishes in his future endeavors and bring laurels to the state and the juries at large. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> Alfred Ongulu, Esquire. The, what I would call 
a new practice we're experiencing in government. Uh, we have been in government before. Uh, sometimes you just hear on radio that you have been dropped. And at other times, um, somehow you get to know about it and it ends up in a very bad relationship. But in recent times, we have noted that you have established a practice that I would refer to as clean, clear cleavage. You honor people who render service to your government and the states. And I hope that even after the tenure of this administration, others will emulate it. Uh, Wudu, to me, is like a younger brother. I have worked closely with him because on several occasions it had pleased Your Excellency to assign me because like you normally do. Sometimes I leave my duties as chief of staff to join him in handling cases. I would not like to say much, but let me just draw attention to, this, to Your Excellency and our colleagues that would do added a lot of value to the system. And he was a bar activist and a bar leader at various levels. And because of his excellent human relations, he had good rapport with very many senior lawyers and even members of the bench. And it worked tremendously to our advantage in handling matters for the state. We see that by the time we move into somewhere, they've had, they will see Wodu as their friend. And things were easy for all of us. Uh, for Bodu, to me, public service is like a relay race. You play your part, you hand over the button. Uh, sometimes that's how it works. Uh, he has had the great fortune uh, of serving as Attorney General for so long, because I used to think that I was holding the record because I served as Attorney General for five years. She has surpassed my record now. So, Your Excellency, like you have said, I know the spirited efforts you have made over time to promote him. Conscious efforts to see how he could become a senior advocate of Nigeria. And he's on that path. And I know that Your Excellency's words are your bond. You will continue to support him in that endeavor. Because if we continue to give him briefs, and retain him to handle matters for us, that will be the fastest route for him to become a senior advocate. Uh, it's on that note that I would like to join forces with others who have spoken before, that uh, I will do. We wish you well. We wish you well in your future endeavors. Thank you for the excellent services you have rendered to the state. Thank you all. Uh, before the Deputy Governor, who will be the last speaker before we we'll do a response. Uh, yes, sir. Your Excellency and Chairman and Council, uh, first let me thank you for the privilege because I didn't know I'd have the opportunity. Thank you very much. Um, what can I say? Uh, the Honorable Attorney General, Kimaso De Wodo, and I were sworn in on the same day as commissioners. He as Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice, and I was sworn in as Commissioner for Trade, Industry, and Investment. And so, from that point, we found ourselves as two new, we're both, seeing as we're both lawyers as well. Sometimes people may forget that I'm actually also a, a lawyer. We started out, of course, in, in council together, and by the nature of my portfolio, we had many occasions to interact um, especially on a lot of the legal issues that came out of the work we had to do on a daily basis. And I had the privilege of being uh, in meetings which he chaired. I remember distinctly one of them when we were dealing with the very thorny issues to do with compensation issues around land for, bra for brass LNG. And as everyone has attested, Wodu was always completely unflappable. He, his temperament was always even, he handled meetings well, we met with chiefs, with different people, and it was never an issue. He handled every meeting excellently well. And so there's always a delight 
uh, for me to work with him, knowing that you had somebody who, no matter the circumstances, was very cool-headed. The other thing which many don't know is that uh, we also found ourselves to be good exercise mates in the commissioner's quarters. Um, when I started exercising a lot in the early morning in the commissioner's quarters, I always found one other person there out jogging, walking, exercising, and we had many a good time together exercising and uh, enjoying all the benefits of keeping fit in the midst of the hectic work schedule that we face. Um, you will be sorely missed because uh, your contributions were always well thought out and uh, you're somebody who spoke your mind on issues and brought clarity to many things that helped us to do what we do even better. Well, we know that you're going to greater heights and we are all rooting for you and know that in no distant time you will become, you will take silk and become the senior advocate of Nigeria. Thank you. Yes, Deputy Governor. Your Excellency, Chairman Council, other members of the Council, uh, thank you for giving the opportunity uh, to say one or two words about by Elson's with a lot of promise in the chosen field. Uh, I never met him, but I heard about his name. He's smiling. Shortly after the local council election, where you know, we were taken to court and I think we got the services of. But I never me, met him, because his, his name. And then finally, I think we had him on board. And then those who knew him before uh, told me what he had been right from secondary school, his exploits, and how he had been fearing. So we started relating. It's a very, a very, very simple, but very firm. Simple and firm. And for the time I had related with him, a person who studied deep knowledge, what he's doing, and very difficult to sway away from where the point he is taking. So I think uh, Pastor Wudu was one of the first to reconcile the travel documents with me uh, because I always had the template from the public service regulations and after the first day where there were sort of discrepancies I gave him a copy and so we never debated again at every time uh, the lawyer in him will come up and he will write exactly what is in that document and uh, but only that he had a way of uh, catching me unawares uh, there was time I said the people are getting too many uh, so anytime he would come, he wouldn't come with the file again. He would come with the iPad, but the document is inside the iPad. Then with a lot of pleasantries, we we'll discussing at the end. He said, just wait. Then he opened the iPad, I will see a document. Then we'll smile over it, and then we go. I know when you, there are two things you meet, and then you part. And the essence of our being here is to provide service. And if we are to measure, I think, uh, to my mind, I mean, not, not too right, accurate, but I think he has performed, to my mind, exceptionally well. Good knowledge. And I know what he passed through during the tribunal period, sleepless night himself with uh, Talford. And every time briefing me, in fact, details, his briefing are too details. I say, I'm not a lawyer. But he felt those are things that I should know uh, by my position. Uh, today, I think he's leaving us from this cabinet, but it's a person that I will take as my younger brother and a friend far beyond this point. I uh, get a lot of goodwill from him. I can 
I am happy today that from all that I've heard, it's a parting well made. Congratulations for your service to our state. I wish you the best wherever you find yourself. But we are waiting for that SAN yeah. by you. Thank you very much, sir. point, our new Attorney General will not speak here. He will only speak when you have your meetings at the, the, at the departmental level. And I think you should, we should organize a small send forth for him. Um, so on this note, Commander Swede will do expire. You have the floor. Treat to the government of Bias State, the head of service, Chief of Staff, members of Exco, Deputy Chiefs of Staff, to the Governor, ladies and gentlemen, I'm humbled. I cannot thank Your Excellency enough, sir. There was a day we had the privilege of commiserating with you when you lost your mother, our mother. And I said clearly that day that you have made us, you gave us a platform to serve our great state, which is wonderful, which is a privilege, an opportunity which we would not have otherwise had. And for that, Your Excellency, I'm very grateful. I appreciate your patience, understanding. To me, Your Excellency, sir, you are my brother, sir. And whatever we can reasonably do at any time to continue to support this administration to succeed, to continue to succeed, to make more marks in the governance of this state, we are prepared to do to sacrifice. I thank your excellency, sir, for the confidence which throughout this period that I served, that you reposed in me. You never doubted me at any point in time. You accepted whatever I said as the truth. And that gave me also, in turn, a lot of confidence to do my work, knowing that you were solidly behind me, sir. I appreciate that, sir. Your Excellency, sir, I'm aware that there is still uh, about uh, 11 months or so, 12 months, for this administration to come to an end. And I also know that with God on our side, this administration, under your leadership, will end very well and strong and successful. And you, and you can continue to count on us. I must also pay special tribute to His Excellency, the Deputy Governor of the State. He's one man that I disturbed so much. And incidentally, he never frowned at any time that I met him. It could be in the office, in the house. All he was concerned with was what was the work for? What was it that I wanted? Once it was in respect of the discharge of my official functions, he never hesitated and he supported me at all times. Your Excellency, I thank you for that, sir. The Secretary to the Government of Bias Estates, my friend, I almost call you my colleague. <laughs> but you are a very big man now, sir. <laughs> I thank you for the privilege of working with you. 
we did so many things as in the discharge of our official duties together and all worked very well. Chief of Staff, my very good friend, my brother, I first met him when, incidentally, those days in school, they were students activists, so they ran into problems with the government at that time. So when they came back to continue, I was in year one, and it was in his final year. That was when I first met him. And since then, up till the time he became Speaker of the Old River State House of Assembly, and thereafter, till he became Attorney General, in fact, Special Advisor first, Attorney General, and so forth, we related very closely. I appreciate your support, your advice, forthright and timely advice. I sincerely appreciate it. My colleagues in ex school, they promoted me to the level of chairman of commissioners, the commissioners forum. And a, a lot of them are my seniors. In fact, before now, so many were even my seniors. But somehow, they respected me so much. We were able to work together to achieve our common goals. I thank you for this wonderful show of love and for your support. I appreciate all of you. I can't mention that all of you are my friends. There's a lady I disturb a lot, the Deputy Chief of Staff. Your Excellency doesn't know, sir. <laughs> I always disturb her. I appreciate your support. And she's one lady that is never ruffled despite the pressure. Even at the heat of the pressure, she'll be picking calls. You call, she will respond. And I always commend her for that. I appreciate it and keep it up. Congratulations for that wonderful work you are doing. <laughs> Deputy Chief of Staff to the Deputy Governor, wonderful man. Congratulations for what you are doing. I appreciate all that you people have done. But I must especially acknowledge the personal staff of His Excellency the Governor. Wonderful. The support I got from the Governor's personal staff is exceptional. I want to see Governor. I want to talk to Governor on phone. I want issues resolved all from ADC to the bottom. All of them are my friends still today. Your Excellency, I thank you for the type of staff that you have. <laughs> and also, Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, even to him, I have commended his staff before him. You people have, Your Excellencies, you have a way of choosing people. And you need this type of people to make you work effectively and succeed. I appreciate it. And even in government house, my office, see my office, Ministry of Justice, I enjoyed wonderful support. Wherever I went, they showed love and support and cooperation. I appreciate it. And then, before I resume my seat, Your Excellency, sir, you have made a wonderful choice for, as a replacement for my position as Attorney General before that's Mr. E.S. Arthur. We have worked together for many years, many years. As far as I'm concerned, is one of the best experts we have in criminal litigation. One of the best. I don't hide it. I tell him, even when he's not there, we argue about it. Even sometimes chief of staff and others, I say, this man is doing that work very well. And they all agree with me. <laughs> and I believe, and also with God on our side, is going to do very well, is going to creditably discharge the functions of the Office of the Attorney General and Commissioner for Justice. Your Excellency, sir, 
I cannot thank you enough for this privilege. For even your humility and is it magnanimity? I will say it, but is for accepting to allow me to go without acrimony, without quarrel. In many places, it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. I thank you. And to further show that, to further exhibit that, you organized this special valedictory session in my honor. I cannot remember whether I have witnessed this type of session before. I thank you, Your Excellency, for this honor, sir. Thank you very much. I keep praying for you, for your family, and for many other good things to continue to come your way. Thank you, Your Excellency, sir. So, uh, Secretary of Government, um, will generate the appropriate paperwork for his entitlement. And uh, you will hear from us. Thank you.